explain to you why we changed, why we don't, don't use the allowances anymore? Did I, ever, did I mention that at the beginning of the chapter? We had a big, um, there was a big tax law change in 2017 that where we, so these allowances corresponded with what are called exemptions on the tax return. Each individual on the tax return that was claimed on the tax return, so married couple with two kids, you'd have four exemptions. Each of those exemptions um, had a dollar amount attached to it. You would multiply the number of people times the exemption amount, which is somewhere around 4,000 when they took them away, and you would get that as an additional deduction on your tax return. They eliminated those. They increased the standard deduction, but they eliminated the exemptions. Those exemptions were, in theory, related to the number of allowances that you were claimed. So that was one of the things that, that was attached to that. So when they eliminate the exemptions, the allowances really don't make any sense anymore because of how the tax return changed, or the tax law changed. Okay. So anytime there are changes in income tax law that have to do with wage income, there are going to be changes to payroll accounting law as well. There are always going to be those same changes, which is why those in payroll accounting have to keep up on tax changes also. Okay, so the very last one, this one here, okay. Let's see here. Tax security systems, salaries are shown. Payroll register, they're paid, let's see, Hall and Short are paid monthly. Everybody else is paid weekly. Company pays an annual bonus based on the amount of earnings for the year. Bonus amounts to 8% of the annual salary paid to each employee is to be paid along with the regular salaries. The amount of the bonus and the amount of the regular salary will be shown separately on each employee's earnings statement, but they are paid together. Um, all right. So prepare the payroll. Was there a per, one of these in particular or a couple? Because I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Use the wage bracket method. So on the, this would be the bonus and this would be the regular. So if they're all, let's see, annual bonus, each employee, okay. So the bonus amount is for the whole year. So they are paid monthly. So their salary, let's do Michael Hall here. His salary, 3,500 a month times 12 months, 42,000. He's getting a bonus, 8% bonus, so 3,360. Is that right? There we go. Okay, and we're gonna withhold a flat 22%, because it says right here, withhold a, withhold a flat 22% on the annual bonus, 2% state income tax, 2% city income tax. All right, so for this particular pay period, he gets 3,500 plus the 3,360, 6860. All right, so he's not above the 147, obviously, at this point. So his OASDI is gonna be 6.2% of that full amount, 425.32. Medicare tax as well, 6860. 99.47, although maybe I've gone too far here. Let me see. No, okay. I got there anyway. Uh, 99.47. Let me make sure. Okay. Federal income tax. So, the bonus we've got to calculate at that 22%, right? The rest of the salary is going to be calculated separately, but we've got to add them together. 
because that's the full amount that's going to be that's going to be withheld. So his regular wage is thirty five hundred. Married filing jointly. Do we have any information about check boxes or anything? Let's see. Did you find anything that says where, whether the checkbox was checked or not? We can we can calculate separately. So the twenty two percent is going to be on the thirty three sixty. So seven thirty nine twenty. So this is the federal income tax withholding on the bonus. And let's see, they want us to use the wage bracket method table, so we don't have to use the percentage method, right? The rest of it, the 3,500, oh my goodness, they expect me to see that? if the checkbox is checked or if it's not. We'll go with the 136 and see what they say. no checkbox or standard withholding no checkbox so you see how I did the I did them separately okay and then so we got two separate calculations and we've got to add them together state income tax is 2% of the total amount so 6860 times 2% 13720 and then city income tax is 
also 2% on 3720. And the total amount then would be the net pay, whoops, 6860 minus 42532 minus 9947. 8725 20 minus 137.2 minus 137.2 518561. Right. Okay. So the uh, Michael and Joy are both paid on a monthly basis. Everybody else though is paid on a weekly basis. So when you're calculating that that um Well, they've, none of them have exceeded the 147. But let's do, uh, so when you're calculating that bonus, so let's do Sean, 380 times 52. So 19,760 times 0 0.08, that's his bonus. So 158080. those two together, 380 and 158080, 1960, 80. OASDI is gonna be based on all of that amount. 12157. Nineteen sixty times point oh one five twenty eight forty three for Medicare. Oops. Now federal income tax. Remember, so the fifteen eighty eighty is going to be taxed at twenty two percent. Forty-seven seventy-eight. Then we can use the table to find the additional amount. So weekly, three hundred and eighty. Married filing jointly. Seventy-eight. That's right. Yep. And then the, that'll be two percent of the total amount. City tax will be two percent of the total amount. And then we'll just subtract all of those. Is there another part of that that? They want you to compute the employer's tap, uh, portion of that as well, down here at the bottom. Does that answer your question, help, Lisa? Okay. All right, so uh, I guess we're out of time. Um, if you have any other questions, though, feel free to email me, shoot them my direction. Uh, homework is due Thursday evening at midnight one minute before midnight all right thank you